How dare Anna eat dinner? <laughs> well, see, there you go from the horse's mouth. So when when Randall asks, like, where, why we're late. Um, anyway, hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, usual crew here. We've got Christian and Anna and Lucas. What's up? So there yeah, I deny go. nothing. Yeah, I eat food. It's a crime that I commit daily. But it was good that you did that because then that way it gave me plenty of time to unbox and mess with the uh, all of these <coughs> wonderful repaints. Well, other than the slugs. Yeah, so you've adopted that word pretty massively. You think these count as slugs? They're like, they're pretty big, aren't slugs little? They're non-transforming figures. Is that what slugs are? I don't know. I think slugs are typically one I don't have the toy words textbook. So I think one of them is a slug and one of them is not. Okay. Because if they're only one chunk, I think then it's, it's a slug chunk. of plastic, right? Oh, uh, yeah. okay. So then I guess I'm using it wrong because technically these are multiple pieces. So Only one of them is. Poopus is only one piece. I don't know yeah. what you're talking about. I think she means Kranix. That's right. That's what it's name actually is. is more than one piece. I think Kranix is one piece. He might be two Oh, pieces. I guess he is. You're right. I tried I to thought, be his I arms, thought he had arm articulation. articulation. He yeah, looks like everybody thought he had arm he articulation. Like he, he does not. And he, it moves just a bit because <laughs> it's kind of rubbery plastic. Yeah. But it's a good so, place to start. Let's start with Kranix. So, Why not, so right? but first off, before we start that, I just want to say, Randall, like, I really have been spending, like, two weeks debating on whether or not to open this set because it looks so beautiful in the box. This box is a beautiful presentation, and I kind of wish oh, I would have yeah. ordered two just so that I could have kept one in the box because, like, again, they're all set up in here, and it looks it looks really not as nice when there's ties going everywhere, but the, like, back, there's, like, wonderful artwork on the back, and I, like, I think this might be the nicest box that they've done. I don't know, the, um, the Dinobot set. With the arc was really nice too, mm. but I didn't want to get that one. So I have an aside about that one, but I'll save it for later. Um, save everything. I mean, I could. Okay, do you want me to tell the aside? Fine. The arc thing, despite the protests of the actual <laughs> creator of the the pop up ness of the arc, uh, Hasbro elected not to use the appropriate glue on that, so it just falls apart. Instead uh, of being awesome. Okay. Hmm. That is that is from my good friend and customizing class buddy, uh, Matt Reinhardt, who is also the author of the Transformers pop up book and many other awesome pop up books. He's pretty much the pop up book master. Okay. So they didn't so listen to him. Them. He said, You guys need to use this glue so it doesn't fall apart. And they did not do that. And then they all fell apart. Hmm. That I must be that frustrating. Done. I like I mean, that that's... Knights of Unicron set, that Botcon set. Ooh, it's a San Diego set. But, Whatever. Uh, that might be the nicest packaging ever. Ooh, that's... <laughs> yeah, I think that's really right. cool. I've always wanted yeah, that. Right. I'm well, trying to think, which one, which set close. is that? That's the one where they're all, like, glammed up, rocker. Yeah, they're in, like, a, oh, in, like, a okay, case, yeah. which is really cool. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of a, like, kiss homage. Yeah. That's probably the nicest packaging they've ever done. I think that's super cool. Like I've yeah. I've always wanted it, just, and last time it went pretty cheap. It was still out of my budget range, and now it's probably expensive again. Yeah, last time it was pretty cheap. I bought it. Yes, you did. I remember that. <laughs> so you know, once again, we're reviewing something that like you can't actually buy unless you want to like pay scalper prices on eBay. I don't know like what it's up to now. I think the last I looked, it was like a couple hundred dollars. No, we can talk about the primary mold, which is the Judge, because that's still available. It's just different colors. Yeah. And the paint's not quite as nice. Is it not but, as nice? But we could start with, you know, the little guys first, because why not? Yeah, let's I'll, start with I'll, the little I'll, guys. I want to talk about Kranix. Yeah, let's start. Let's talk ah. about Kranix, because I don't know where mine is. This is the first actual Lithonian Kranix we've gotten. He's been... Uh, a repaint of Armada Dead End before. 
He might have had another thing. I don't remember. But this is the one that looks like Krannix in the movie. Mostly. He's not quite the right color. The colors are a bit off. That said, I would get, like, a ton of these things. I would, I really would. If they packed him with somebody else, I would buy a pack of Lithonians. Because I don't want him to be the last survivor of Lithon. I want a you know, nice population of Lithon. Aw, <laughs> you want to rebuild his planet. I do. You're so nice. He's really cool, though. <coughs> it's nice to have him. Yeah, it's, it's cool enough. Like, I instantly lost mine, apparently, but... <laughs> I really don't know where I put it. Did you get that? Anna, did you get the Centurion drone? Or no, you didn't. I did not. Okay. Well, that's good. It's just as well because it comes with a tiny little Optimus. It's Those going are to be much, much smaller, yes. The same size as the. They have these little figures that come with uh, Unicron. And so it's supposed to match that. And um, yeah, like I, I'm so freaked out that I'm going to lose that thing. They're also the same size as Studio Series Brains and Wheelie. Mm. Those guys are teeny tiny. Yeah, I just misplaced him. I'm sure he's somewhere in here. Yeah, Krennix is cool. I'm glad he's there. Uh, I'm sad that that's the scene they depicted him in. Because <laughs> I don't like to see Krennix die. I hate that part of the movie every time. Well, like, I like him. I just kind of wish, like... This is a little unrealistic, but I kind of wish, since he's basically like a D&D miniature, that he was painted as much as like a D&D miniature. Like I just wish yeah. he had a little more paint on him since he doesn't move or do anything. I wish like he had paint on his eyes and a little bit of like accent on his face. It's just yeah, enough to make that. him pop a little more than he does. Yeah. I mean, I think it's like a decent amount of paint. Like I, I agree with you about the eyes, but like, I mean, the little head crest like has paint on it and whatnot. It does. So... I, I don't sort know. Of, it could be worse. I, I sort of think it might have been a better choice for them to have sculpted him in the spare me this mockery of justice pose as opposed to just straight up and down. I don't know, because that's the scene they're depicting. So if he was like, I in like that, that pose, it would be like, ah. That'd be mean. You know, be and, you know, mean. It'd be just so, fun. So my it's one complaint exciting. about this set in general is that it only comes with one Sharktacon. Um, and they really need to come with like 20 of these things. So. That would up the price by 20 times 10. I'm, I'm fine with that. Ah, I am not. <laughs> uh, this shark is good. You know, he's not, I don't think he's substantially better than the other sharks. No, I don't either. But he's neat. I'm glad he's there. I don't know. I mean, I think that this is really well painted. Like, I, I like the, I like the paint on this. And I don't know. I should have grabbed the shark. It's like over there. To so I don't. I don't do you really have your shark? Theirs. Oh, there you go. I don't there think there's go. a huge difference between the two. I mean, mostly what it comes down to is the pink pink accents on the gnaw are replaced with more blue accents. And the purple paint is replaced with metallic purple paint. That's really the big difference is. I think the face looks a little better on the new one. Yes, but everyone loves metallic paint, though. At least I do. So. <laughs> I think it follows more closely to the Floro Dairy concept art for the movie as opposed to what they actually look like in the film. Which is good. It's neat to have that. It's the same concept art that had the orange RC. So, Randall, I, of course, did troop build the Titans Return release. Yes. I What I'm saying, though, is is I want another troop of these. So, I don't want just one. Because, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that, like, Rick, Lord knows how many he actually has. But, like, like how many Sharktacons do you have, Christian, did you get from Titans Return? I have three of the Titans Return ones, and I have three of the LG ones. I think I have like 10 of the Titans Returns. I can't remember if I have an LG one or not. I, I got I had one at one point, but I can't remember. At one I point, won. I think I had nine of the Titans Return ones, and I was like, this is too many, and I sold them. I bought them by accident, but I do have one. <laughs> How did you buy it by accident? How did you buy a shark account by accident? Uh, I accidentally 
when I was looking through the Transformers, I actually dropped one in my little, like, hand basket. And when I got to the checkout, I was like, well, I guess I'm buying it. It's a good accident. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. I pretty much so decided not to really. buy it because the articulation didn't really, like, excite me. So I wasn't really, like, going to get one. But I don't, I don't regret it. It's a pretty cool toy. I don't know. I mean, I think that, like, for the old Hasbro Legends, like, I think that this, or for that size class, I think it had decent articulation. They are quite good as sharks. I don't like them as dudes. Like, I don't really think the person mo- mode is really great on this figure. Mm-hmm. You know, limited articulation. Kind of looks awkward. But it's fine. Yeah, they definitely do really well as sharks, and the the humanoid mode is, like you said, the, a detriment. But you know, if they did another deluxe version that was the same size as like the Alicons, I'm sure they could fix that. I would take it. I would take a like scaled was, up and remolded version. It was in the fan vote, uh, 2018, 2019, whenever we voted on getting uh, the battle chargers. You know so that they're probably going to be doing there. a deluxe version. That is actually is going to be the price of a deluxe, but scaled as a Legends figure. No, I don't think. I think they'll probably make it the same size as the Alicon. It should be, right? So? Aren't they about the same height? They're about the same height, roughly. Yeah. I don't know. I personally would rather have it in the core class, just because it's easier to troop build. You know what I mean? Like ten bucks versus twenty. Like, I know that that's one thing that Rick was kind of complaining about, the sweeps that, um, I can't, Scourge is, is he 20 or 30? I can't remember. Is he a Voyager or Deluxe? The new for one Studio is a Series 86? Yeah, so that's oh, what he was, he, he was complaining because it was $30, which it's, you know, it's a little harder to troop build at 30 bucks than, I think the old one was like, what, 15, the Titans Return one? I think that's the one plus of going up to 23 for the deluxes, though, because now it's only a $7 difference. So I can consider it like $7 for improvement instead of $10 for a different size. There you go. Now, what about leaders? Is that still going to be $20 of accessories? A weird price point. <clears throat> It, yeah. It's really turned into a weird price point. Now, the Beast Wars Megatron looks all the part of he you looks know, a worth leader the size. price of the leader, yeah. But yeah. we're getting distracted like we always do. So we, we talked about the Sharky. We talked about Boom. the... Um, Let's talk about the Prosecutor. Poopus. Yes. Because so, I can't remember Kranix awesome. today. I keep forgetting his name. So how have we gone like 30 some odd years without actually giving this guy a name. He's still just prosecutor. That's his name. Hi. Well, that's his class, but I guess Anna's right. He doesn't have a specific name. Some of the Quintessons do. Some of them don't. I don't know. But this is the prosecutor from that scene, and he's so cool. I wish he moved, but, you know. Yeah, there's like... Like, his head is the only thing that moves. But the thing that's a little annoying is, again, like, Christian, you had mentioned, like, there was silver paint. And so then, like, I don't know, does yours actually, is it coated in silver paint, like, on the peg? Or, like, mine's missing a fair amount of paint on his little neck thing. Yeah. It's kind I of did not much. take mine's head off. <laughs> Mine Which just is fine. It doesn't off, need so. to have paint there because it's yeah, it inside matter. of his body. So whatever. Yeah, he's cool. He's got a little translucent piece down here that he you know, levitates on, just like the larger judge, which we'll show. He's got tentacles, which look great. He's got a sculpted mean grin, which is awesome. The silver paint on his head is really cool. He looks the part. I like him. Yeah, he does totally look the part. Like, he, he fits that whole, like, let's make simple cartoon style color scheme. Like, he doesn't need more paint because he has all of his colors. Yep. So he seems just fine as it is and and i do like it i like you i wish that the tentacles moved somehow like i don't know if i'd be super happy if they were like rubbery with a piece of wire in them tentacles that broke but i don't know just a little yeah, bit of moving on them would have been cool and of course i would <clears> like <throat> it to be bigger because it's out of scale but that's yeah, fine. but we can talk about that at length here in a minute once we talk about everything. Everything's out of scale. 
I mean, yes, everything is out of scale. The the one thing well, that I'll say about this guy is is like. At the end of the day, like, I'm probably just going to throw this on my shelf. You know what I mean? He just has to look good on the shelf. It doesn't really matter that he doesn't have 20 points of articulation, so. True, and he he does look good on the shelf. Yeah, he's fine. So, do we talk about not Ganon next? Uh, we covered him last week, so. Okay, we would well, he's just high him. again. How do you guys feel about him? Do you like him? Like do you him. think he's yeah. a worthwhile... Do you think he's like different enough on. than the Alicons yes. to own? Oh, he's very different. The the paint scheme okay. is way cool. I like it a lot. The paint scheme, the paint scheme is fun, and he reminds me of a cartoon character, so that's fun. I think the real draw for this set is. The is it? Is that the draw? I thought the draw was the cardboard. So the the one thing I will say is is that I I kind of regret getting the uh, the judge like individually like I mean I don't know I, I don't really feel like I need two of these I know Christian I think you wanted a troop build you know the judge as well but I don't know I, like I, I just need the idea, one like... myself and so I kind of regret now getting you know spending the thirty dollars on this other guy that we have not actually reviewed yet. Yeah, I mean, well, we're about to review it, because this is going to be... I don't yeah, think this thing is a full hit show. Ah. This is my favorite Quint face, the death face. It's probably Oops. everyone's favorite, but man, I like this one a lot. And the paint is, is good. so good. Actually, so, like, you mentioned this last time, and I want to mention it now, that the faces are really cool. Like, they do look good. I haven't been can... industrious enough to check them to the animation models, but they look really good. Yeah, they do look good. I mean, they do look different compared to the, um, you know, the regular retail release as well. So, oh, do they? Yeah. See, I'm as I'm showing on camera here. Well, they're I mean, different. The, the, paint, the, are they di the colors? Different no, 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 no. The okay. sculpts are the same. I'm saying that the. Um, the paint is different on them. Okay, so like the, got it. The, color, the colors are all different. Uh, so, like, one is, like, the retail release is, like, a dark gray. Um, and the little, whatever, stand is clear. And then on uh, on this one, it, it is, like, a white or whatever, like, with a blue stand. Okay, got it. They, uh, they, they ratchet really well to rotate. They yeah. do. Yeah, mouth. And there's a trigger on the back here that you know you can spin a bunch of it at once if you wanted to. Yeah, which is fun because fun. that's what they do, right? That's their thing. Right. They rotate. They do have like opening and closing mouths, kind of kind of <laughs> cool. like that. Bloop, 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 bloop. You can't even see that in my light. Yeah, I'm happy for that. the mouths. That should be me glad. But this is kind of where this figure should end. It should just be this mode, and that's it. But unfortunately, it's not. They have to make it as a Transformer. They had to make it as a Transformer. So it comes with this little chair, which is fine. Oops. Except I mean, I think that the chair is, is good, like, just to have, them, you know, something to set them in. Yeah, for sure. It didn't have a chair it in the movie. I don't remember. I don't, it I doesn't, don't know either. It doesn't stay on very well. Here's chair. No, not really. But the chair is, is kind of fun. You can put other people in the chair if you wanted. You can. Yeah, it's a chair. It's it has, furniture. It has ramp compatibility, which is great. Or I guess you want to be specific about it has airlock compatibility. I guess I'm wrong. I, I we apparently we need three judges. So, said that. What's that? Technically, I'm sorry, I, I, I wasn't listening to you. But... Said we need three sets of judges. Oh. Yeah. So, does anyone want to do the alt mode thing real quick, or do you just want to rag on it? Roll. Here's part of it. I will. So okay. the thing that I. 
the, the thing that annoys me about this, I like that it comes with a little jail cell. Like, I think that that's kind of neat. That's neat. Right? You can put a little MicroMaster or whatever in it. The thing that I don't like about it is, is that, like, once you do the little thing, the, like, this thing just sets up there. I don't like that. Yeah. So, as, you know, Transformers collectors, we're kind of used to all of our various modes having you know, like tabs or pegs or whatever to hold stuff together. Uh, that is not the case for this one. Everything just kind of sits where it's vaguely supposed to go and hopes for the best. Which, I mean, it's is, fine. It just doesn't fall out or whatever. But it's, I don't know. I feel like I'm feeling a banana. Yeah. <laughs> Step one, now he's a big tower, which is cool. And then, like Lucas said, you just slam that right in there, and it just sits on top of the mouths. Yeah. It doesn't get anywhere. It just sits there. You have to take off the bottom, which has a little trigger on it. Unfold the chair. Now it's a platform load thing. Yeah. I promised myself I'd never put him in this mode again, too. Ah. We, did we all do it? We did all do it. Yeah. So there you go. here's Look this, that. and then the jail cell just kind of there's there's no dedicated part to put it on the the ramp. I thought there uh, was. So that, I thought you put because can't you take you you can plug the uh, there's a little five the, millimeter port at the bottom. The gun is supposed to go on the top. The gun of is it. supposed to go on top of the jail cell. Oh, and then it has wow. no pegs after that. So once you put the gun mm. in the top of it like this, then this just mm. sits. Okay, we can just, just, just not just there somewhere. And then this thing just goes. Now what I do is I open their mouths so they have their little chinny chins, and then their chins hold on to this thing, which is me. not. Great. Which is not what you're supposed to do. Ta -da! Oh, is the is is the alt mode supposed to be that you put the faces up like this? Well, that's stupid. Yeah. I didn't even pay yeah. attention to. There they go. Okay, so I, I did peg it in, but you can't use the gun. So here's yeah, yeah here's the alt mode, which is I mean it's a jail cell that's kind of neat. You can put like micro masters or battle masters in there. It's an okay idea. It just sucks yeah it's like Yay. i guess if i was building a little city to have a bunch of these as towers that are secretly alive is kind of neat but at the same yeah. time it's not yeah it's like okay this is like a weird little accessory they could go with your micromaster display like it could be like a micromaster play set and be fun and all but then is it a $30 figure anymore? No. It's no longer really a $30 investment. No. When I said I wanted you know, 30 Voyager leader size modulators or uh, weaponizers, mostly modulators, um, this is not what I meant. No. Me neither. But, I wanted, like... I'd love to see, like, a Voyager size ground shaker base. Like, that thing is big, so it could be a big MicroMaster base. Like, that makes sense. This is... You know, I get that they had to try to make the transform because when they did the inner John one back in 2004, it didn't sell very well because it didn't transform at all. So they had to do something, and this is something. The Cyberverse doesn't transform it. either, does it? I don't know. Does no, it? I don't think it does. I should have got that one. I think I'd like it better. No, I think this thing is great. Like, I love, like, I like this as, at this mode. I think yep. that it's a lot of fun. I love the little the way that they did the trigger thing or whatever here like this. I think that that's great. I'm like I like this better than I like I got a uh, third party one of this. Um, it's up here. It's like really tiny. So like I got say, this say goodbye thing. to this Oops. alt mode because it's never happening again in my collection. Right. This has been the second time that I've done it now. Wow. I never so, expected. Yeah, so I, I'd rather have this than than this. So. so this is how I'm gonna display display this thing. It's beautiful. It is not beautiful. It is useless. I do think it can be cool as like I don't know. 
if you're trying to build like a tower defense game on your table. Hey, it's also hollow on the inside now. It kind of feels like it's a goblet. It's like drink from my Quintesson cup. Right. Yeah, when but I put my bed together the first time, I didn't think to put the um the cage back inside it. I was like, what is wrong with this thing? It doesn't feel right anymore. But it's because I didn't do it right. But yeah, I mean, like, I'm happy with it because I just got it as part of the set. And the set to me is super cool. Like, I am excited about this as a set. If I had bought it as an individual figure, I would be thinking, why did I buy a okay statue for this much money? So I'd be a little frustrated. I know you guys want it, but I want it. See, I agree with James. I mean, I, I think it's like one of those things where I never even thought we were going to get this, you know, like that Hasbro right. would produce something like this. And so, again, you know, like Christian had said, it's like we're sitting there debating about whether or not to get the Cyberverse one, uh, even though like that one's I mean, it's fine, but it's, you know, just not exactly what you want. Right. But like, this is what I want. Ever like pass up a Quint like they don't come around and then we have two in one year. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, no, I, I don't see how as, like, in that mode or whatever, like, there's nothing more that I would want. I think that they executed the Quint mode or whatnot, like, perfectly. And, like, I'm, I'm really happy with it, so. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I'm never going to mind having this in my collection. It's cool. The one thing that's always going to frustrate me is I will not have a cup and hot rod the right size to hate out with it. Like, cup and hot rod are going to be big toys in Studio Series. Well, I mean, you could use your Legends, I guess, if you wanted to. Still too big. The closest thing I do have is I have a Target Master hot rod. Yeah. He's still a little too large to be like a regular Target Master, but he would be closer. I mean, I the thing is, is so much bigger than them. I feel like this figure them. is probably going to shelf warm more than likely. Like if it actually shows I think up it in will stores. Too. Uh, I I don't know with like the weird waves and all that, like stores may not get a ton of it in but like I, I feel like it is probably going to shelf for them so and it's going to shelf for them at the voyager price point like if it was the leader price point so that you could get it whatever scale that you wanted like there's no way they would sell that thing no no one's buying a 50 dollar quint no i'm not suggesting that i just think that it would be nice to have little ones i guess like what i could do to have them at the right size is i could get on creos it'd be about the right size it would make the whole scene a little less, like, serious. <laughs> but I could use Creos and then um, the Cyberverse Sharpticons. I could make a more just a scale scene. Mm, sure. This guy would still be enormous, but... <laughs> See, you just need to put certain figures like way, you know, really far away from the other ones. Really so far the, in the back. Their perspective, yeah. So then the perspective it's so will be okay. Much One of my faces has a paint chip on it. Oh no! Oh, that's dang. That stinks. It's not dead, um, so it's fine. I I don't think that Hasbro is going to reuse this mold again. Like I think that doing this set and doing the retail release, I think, is enough for them. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what they'll do. I like I don't know how much Studio Series eighty six will have to cover the whole movie. It seems like it's it would be a waste for them to put this back in there so soon. Studio Series eighty six right. is like the spring line and this is happening now. It, it just seems weird for it to be so close in proximity. Yeah. But it, it could does. be, I guess. Maybe maybe it'll be um you know, like an exclusive pack or something. They'll pack it in as another exclusive. So Kapow Toys uh, made a post, uh, to, I think it was today, that said that Unicron is actually going to be coming out, starting to ship in January. 
So I don't know like what that actually means, like when it's going to reach the U.S. But that would be highly exciting. Like, I mean, just it's gonna blow my mind to get Unicron and the Studio Series eighty six, and already have this stuff. I mean, man. Well, be sure you check out the Fan First Friday on this Friday. Wait, when you post yes. this, it's yesterday, isn't it? The Fan First what? Friday was just today. What? Wait, you post this on YouTube on Saturdays, though, right? Oh, so it will yeah. already have happened for YouTube. Anyway, live viewers, I can post Friday it earlier. This Friday, if, yeah, if you really want, if, if someone if someone makes it into this thirty minutes and it doesn't know about Fan First Friday, like I don't know. Fair. Fan First Friday is covering Studio Series this week, and the this popular speculation, of course, is that they're finally going to announce the Studio Series eighty six stuff. And hopefully some live action stuff too. What I think is funny is this like I feel uh, like 86. studio series, like the regular movie studio series stuff like never actually gets announced. Like it just kinda comes out, right? Or like it's like a blurb, right? Like or has it actually it gets been announced? Yeah, it gets Does announced. It? Okay. I, I mean I know you Ghost Hunter did, but it, I Lucas. Oh. There's there's fewer waves per year. Well, I guess it's equivalent with Earthrise this year, but typically they announce them at the cons, like uh, New York Comic Con is supposed to be next week, kind of, and that's when they announced the Roadbuster Shatter Jeep B wave, and they did you. the next one at um, Toy Fair, and then it came out. They did the one after that Toy Fair, and now that's coming out, so it's time to announce the, the January wave. Okay. So everything's on schedule. It's all fine. <laughs> People actually do like Studio enough. Series, Lucas. <laughs> they do? Huh. I actually do like Studio Series. Like, I like it as a toy line. I just don't really care about those characters. That's right. It's really good. Yeah, we talked about it a bit last night on the uh, the bigger show, that it, it has an objective. It, its gimmick is to be as screen accurate as possible, which is a great gimmick to have. That's a gimmick most of us really like. Yeah, that's the gimmick we so want. So bringing it back around, combining that with the 86 movie, I think is going to be a really great recipe for success. I think it's going to be a good recipe for success. I'm just, I'm so surprised that you all aren't more bothered by the scale. I feel like I'm usually like one of the most lenient when it comes to scale and scale is just all over the place in the sets. I think in the box, like if you don't take them out, it looks pretty good because the perspective that they use on the artwork that's in the box. But yeah, when you it's take okay, them out, it falls yeah. apart. <laughs> it does. It does. So here's the thing: is is I feel like with these, like we, all of these characters, we don't get a lot of them, right? And right, so the right. fact that there's like one option, right? I'm just excited to get it. Like once there's like two or three options, and yeah, it'd probably bother me more. But the fact that there's okay. one one option i don't know i i just like these like it doesn't bother me as much with the the scale i i don't know like i think right just because they're so unusual right yeah i get that i get that i i don't disagree i just for some reason the scale bugs me more with this than it does with most things i really like all of it though oh and we didn't even talk about the box the the well, cardboard i was you uh you also had mentioned too that you didn't like some of the colors i think like on the bailiff right that you i think i was just i was just like i'm trying to figure out how i wanted it to work color wise it grew on me as soon as i realized that it looked like ganon from i'm sorry what was that robot anna can you repeat that robot anna is the way of life i said it, I think it bothered me because I was trying to be like, oh, it needs to look exactly like the movie, like the rich colors and everything. But then I realized it looked, for some reason, it reminds me of Cartoon Ganon. So I'm fine with it now. That's all I needed. Random Zelda reference. He's cool. It's not often we get brown figures, so it's cool that he's there. Yes, true. Brown and olive. He's browns. Like brown and green brown. 
I, w- I will say somebody in the Kansas City group said that they saw a blue streak locally in Kansas City, so I may have to spend tomorrow night going to a couple Walgreens to see if I can find it. Hey, hey you can grab me one too, buddy. If I can find it. Thanks, man. So that's what the box looks like when it's open. It's a cool box. I took that out and put it in one of my Detolf cubes, and it fits perfectly. Did you cut off the plastic? Nope. Okay, because I was talking, I was talking to one of our viewers the other night about cutting out the plastic, and she said it's doable to cut it out without completely destroying it. So I think I'm gonna try. I'm I'm gonna try like cutting out the plastic because I just think it would look better. I don't know. I feel like that having the plastic in there like kind of helps support it. Like if you didn't have that in there, I'd be worried that it would. I mean, I guess you can. like put extra cardboard against it. Like or something the one like that. point that's gonna be a problem is the am I touching the right point here, the the diving board? Yeah, I'd probably keep that one in place. Yeah, the diving board could be problematic. So I'll have to be careful sure. with it. At, at, at least in my setup I think you've all seen my cubes before where they have the lights around it. The lights really go directly through that clear plastic. So you don't see okay. it as much. So it, it it's a nice display piece that way. I definitely want this as a display piece. The fact they actually, the fact they actually shaped the little um, platform for it to stand on and made the diving board and all that stuff, like it just made it into a a much cooler display than it had to be. And everything is nice looking, like it's it's good art of a background. So I'm actually excited for it. Like I like toy backgrounds. I like cardboard toy backgrounds on the shelf. I think they look neat. Well, then you're definitely going to like Studio Series. At least I hope so. I mean, another hallmark of them is that they have the True. background. So I'm assuming that the 86 ones will have, you know, 86 movie backgrounds. Which I think oh, will look really neat. Yeah. That would be really they, cool. They, they've got that leader slag that's listed. You know, I'm sure he's going to have the door with the squished quint, you know, beneath it saying, you know, excuse me. I'm sure that's there. I'm sure that's his background. That'd be so cool. I just play that easy. What, what world are we living in that we're going to get, like, actual Dinobots that are to scale, that are going to actually look really good? Let's hope so. I really hope that's a real thing. Yeah, they could still be anything at this point. I believe. I want him to be filled with cesium salami. Your faith. She'll be rewarded, we hope. Not rewarded with another repaint of Volcanus. If you like, you get a Takara <laughs> version and you get a um, Kena version. I do have that Volcanicus on order, just in case the, the Studio Series ones aren't real. Or if they somehow do you know, just those two and not the other five. Or they do the four that were actually there most of the time. They don't do Snarl. It's like, come on. So I'm really cool. curious. Okay, so the Kingdom line is, uh, you know, they're fitting in like several of the Decepticons in there, right? Like, it seems a little bit weird that we're getting, you know, like, um, whatchamacallit, who is it, Scourge, and um, Galvatron's going to be in there, and I'm trying to think who else the other ones in Kingdom. In Kingdom? Scourge is in Studio Series. Cyclonus is in Kingdom. Oh, oops, I'm sorry, Cyclonus. Let's switch them. Okay. But, like, it's weird how we're getting some in Kingdom and some in the other. Like, I wonder if they're going to do repaints in Studio Series 86. Okay. I, yeah, I've it's weird before. to split them up. These are bros. I've said it before. I think they're splitting it up so they can all be on shelves at the same time. That makes so they sense. They can just yeah. go, boom, get everybody. Go to the store. Go to your Walmart and get everybody at once. They don't They don't want to drag it along for months and months for the weird distribution schedules. They want to say, here's the lineup. Go get it. Well, it could be like how it is now and Waves 2 and 3 are just coming out at the same time. It could be, but I think they're uh, trying to make it so it doesn't work that way. Right, right. So Because t- traditionally, the Studio Series wave first shows up in January and hits saturation by March, and the Generations wave it hits in March. So, you know, I think they're trying to get them all at the same time. We'll see. We will see. It's all exciting, though. It's fun stuff. So yeah, this would, you go. 
this would be a recommend. I'm going to say if we could really recommend it. We can't really recommend it in good faith because it's hard to get right now for a decent price. But if it you was to it. restock for its normal, it's 70 right? Yes. 70 the price? Cool. For its normal $70 price point, which is basically out of the prices of the figures, and that's how much it costs, um, valuing the small guys at 5 so that's that's not bad at all. You need a cool display set, and all the figures look good. So it's definitely a recommend if you can get it for normal price. If you have to pay a you know high scalper rate, uh, you know think hard about how much you want it. I don't know, but I feel like there's so many figures that are like that now. I know <laughs> um, that somebody was posting today about like green light. I guess goes for crazy money, you know, yeah. and I'm like. And then I just ask myself, I'm like, why am I not selling green light? You know what I mean? Like, it's just, like, there's so many figures like that, that it's like, I don't even really like that mold that much. Oh, like, she's not good. <laughs> so. But. And it's not like I'm ever going to combine it, so I could give up one of them and be okay. So hard. Yeah, but you're never going to get another green light more than... Well, maybe I you will. Know. I don't know. Who knows? It's hard to... Like, that's the thing. It's so hard to tell because they're actually starting to produce female characters. And so they you are. might get a repaint of uh, Alita and RC as green light, right? Like... Maybe Big Firebird will reproduce Nicey in green light colors. Oh, then I God. can get that. <laughs> <sighs> there we go. Hey, she I'm still good. lives on my desk. I, I am good without that. James mentioned in the chat that they were looking forward to jazz. I agree. Oh my God. Except for um, the reveal of the shield jazz was like so good, like, especially if you had the Takara one. It's good. It's definitely good. Yeah, it's absolutely good for then. Right. I think they can right. improve a lot on it now. The articulation, like, I mean, if they can somehow make a jazz that is, is like that Make Toys version... You know, but it's 20 bucks or oh, whatever. I want to oh see God. them try their hand at a wingless jazz. Because he's had wings, except for the Power of the Primes one, he's had wings lately. Well, that's what I'm saying. If they did the trick like Make Toys did, where the wings kind of mm -hmm. go back in his yeah. back, that would be... That's a good be, trick. That and you know what? I bet, they'll, I bet they'll duplicate it. I mean, we've seen so much, you know, borrowing from the Masterpiece Engineering, and that's essentially Masterpiece Jazz. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw them utilize that. Yeah, I could see it too. Yeah. That would be highly exciting. So, I don't know when that, yeah, like, I mean, I guess we'll find out on Friday, like, what they announce we'll or don't Friday. announce. I don't know if that's going to be a Wave 1 or Wave 2 or what, but... I mean, yeah, I think they build have... a single Dinobot, so we could just know. Well, These like theoretical the figures say. that we don't, like, that we talk about is, like, real things, even though they haven't announced it yet. But Like, they might, they'll they show a Dinobot, or maybe two if we're lucky, but I hope they at least say, and the other three are coming. <laughs> like, we can't just be like, okay, this is it. I don't, I don't think they would do that. They know how big the Dinobots are. I'm sure they'll show off Grimlock. I guarantee it. I really thought they would have done it at PulseCon when Greg Berger was hanging around. It's true. And they oh, I'm sure they they, I'm sure they can get Greg back. I'm sure they can too. I think like I Rekgar, um so Jacob in the chat mentions of these hoping Rekgar's in there. I thought there was a listing for Rekgar. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I I don't oh, know. It all runs together. So. Yeah, I don't remember either, but if there is it'd be, be cool. nice. Yeah. I like the old one, but it doesn't really look exactly like Rekgar, so. Yeah. It's kind of like, like the old cup figure. Like, I really. Yes, you can see. In a, in a pipe dream, I'd like to have a you know, Studio Series Nancy. There you go. She's basically RC. You could do it, it could be a thing. Well, Junkie yeah, and sure. Multipack. You know, do Junkyard, Scrap Heap, and Nancy. Done. I'd buy that. Yeah, that'd be fine. I, I bet you that they're going to do... Detroit, if they do, they get a four-pack. If they do Rekgar, I bet they're going to do more Junkions. Like, you know, because it seems oh, like I'm it'd sure. be pretty re easy re remold or whatnot. And they know people will buy it and troop build them and all that kind of thing. And, so. and people still want Detritus. He appeared in the card game. So, maybe. Yeah. So. I'm fine with that. But, yeah, so this set here, I mean, again, 
I, I would definitely highly recommend it. I really enjoyed it, and I think that... I don't know. It might be one of the first sets that I really, you know, I'm like really jazzed on. Cause like, I feel like the power of the, the throne of the primes, like, eh, it was okay. It should have been primal prime. Yeah. That reflector set was really cool. Oh, the reflector set was cool. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> yes. You generated that out of your mind brain. I did. I said it. Oh, I think... The skateboard oh, Optimus Prime is kind of fun, but yeah. Garrus decided to beat up my instructions, but the instructions actually have little like quips about them on it. It actually has like lines from the movie. I was really surprised oh, wow, by that's that. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It. And they're in color, which is also neat. Yeah, I thought it was just like a cute little piece to have. Here we go. Yeah, so this set was a really good value. Um, don't pay super high prices for it unless you just absolutely have to have it. But at yeah. 70 bucks, I, I really think this was a good value. Yep. So. All right. Fun. Well, um, thanks to everyone that participated in the chat. Uh, Jacob, Jason, Randall, Catherine, uh, James, Ron. Am I missing anyone? But yeah, thank you guys. If I Hopefully I didn't miss anyone. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so this is, this is definitely a good set. De highly recommend it. And, uh, if you want to, you can check out TFLP, uh, last night, uh, where we, um, you know, covered what our least favorite, um, uh, gimmicks are for, for Transformers. So, and we covered some of our favorites at the end, but mostly our, our least favorite ones we we covered a fair amount of that stuff so but that was a lot of fun so and then also the book club um so they've moved on from more than meets the eye they've tossed that aside and apparently they've went into robots in disguise territory we're so. just gonna jump back and forth and follow them chronologically up yeah. through it's a waste of time the dark cyber that's okay you can do it's you know a waste of time you didn't okay. come, Lucas. You could have voted. Can I retroactively vote? I, I think we already decided and wrote it in the words. Right. Okay. So anyway, right. we have a book club. We are going to talk on Discord. So we have a Discord channel on our main TFLP channel for the book club now. So basically last week we talked about More Than Meets the Eye collected volume one. So that was Death of Optimus Prime in the first three issues. So if you want to come and chat about that, you know, we'd still talk about it through the end of the week. And then on Sunday, we're going to move our focus to Robots in the Skies Volume 1, which is the first five issues of that and that um, relaunch. So if you want to join us, we'll be talking about it through the week, talking about the new stuff on Sunday, and then Sunday night at 8.30 Central, we're going to actually have a like you know vocal chat meeting where we talk about the book it'll be fun we did it last week it was a fun conversation i talked about how confused i was about everything it was all good fair enough all right well thank you everyone and uh next week i don't know do we want to do super megatron probably Maybe. Probably. So that may be our our figure next week. So we'll, we'll see though. Who knows? But I'm excited right. for it. Well, thank you everyone, and we'll see you next week. Bye. I'm very bad.